art by soul. My name is Carol Cook and I actually paint paintings from the soul. I'm not sure where they're coming from. But a couple years ago I picked up a paintbrush and decided to paint. So every one of my paintings that I paint, after I finish painting them, it turns out that a poem comes. A name and then a poem. For example, this one here is called Seriously. And Seriously um, is one of my proud Buddhas, I, I say, because he is sold, he actually, I sold the original of this one to a lady who can afford to buy $10,000 worth of paintings at any go. And she found this Buddha extremely enticing. So I'm very proud that she hangs this little Buddha in amongst all her very wealthy art. Another one that's extremely dear to me is Buddha Happy. And the reason this one is, is, is very dear to me is because I made it for my granddaughter. So when I painted this one before she was born, it got a name as Happy. I framed it and it is now in her bedroom. Some of the cards that I make up, for instance, this is my Three Lovely Ladies, it's called. And this one has a poem in it that is actually has been known to be quite touching, so you might want to read that one. I also do um, some art that is like find a picture within a picture. So for example, this one's fairly easy to see. I will put paint on a piece of paper and then I will look for a picture in it and then I will paint what I see. And this one happens to be a skier. So, I've been doing it for a couple of years. Sometimes the painting comes so fluently that I won't sleep. I'll just paint and paint and paint for days on end. And then other times I get a little bit of a block. So it comes and it, and it goes. And like I said, I believe that it's definitely channeled from above. The very first painting that I painted was Einstein. I had no idea why I wanted to paint him. He just had to be painted. Once he was painted, the Buddhist came. So every single Buddha has a name, a story, or a poem. And they're all quite deep. For instance, uh, this one here is called Summer. This is another very special Buddha for me because I've given this one to my grandson when he turned 16 years old. He loves it. It hangs in his bedroom. This one here is called Queen. The reason I called it Queen is because this one I couldn't really tell whether it was well, I, I couldn't find a name for it, I gave it Queen, and it actually has another very deep message behind it. This one here, Forest, he looked like the forest to me, and I so I put a very nature um, poem to go with him. Serenity, she came out and she just looked like she was extremely peaceful, so she became Serenity. Um, this one here, this Buddha here, is one of my poetry Buddhas as well. I, at one point I was putting my picture on the back of the cards. I've changed that so that people can have them more personalized to themselves. And this one's name is Pride. And my son has this one for a wedding present. This one's name is Vine. Yeah, Vine also has an autumn type poem that goes with it. Uh, my website is Art by Soul, and the reason that my website is Art by Soul is because all of these paintings have been painted from soul. I would like to take credit for it. My hand did it. However, I do believe that soul is the one that's in charge of it. This little one here is named Chi. Chi ended up becoming a storybook for children. Um, this one here is called Protector. He just looked extremely strong and like he could protect you. So he became Protector and he has a very nice poem that goes with him.